YouTubers, Facebookers and Instagrammers. It's been a while since I've made a video. I do have a couple of videos in the pipeline, which will hopefully be coming out soon. Um, just been so incredibly busy. I just really haven't had the time uh, to uh, get on and make some content. I do apologize for that. But something that just came to mind today is regularly I get asked by people, what, what's the importance of a retrieve? You know, especially with the domestic uh, people, um, you know, wanting to buy these working breeds of dogs to uh, keep as pets, etc., and all the issues that come with those. That's one of the videos that I'm gonna be making is that the reality is if you can find something productive to do and interact through your dog with, you stand a much better chance of entertaining your dog long term. If you allow your dog to become feral, I, by just giving it too much freedom, which seems like the lovely thing to do, they have a great time, don't get me wrong, but before you know it, they're finding other things more interesting than you, getting on out there and starting to cause you lots of problems. So if you can find something productive to do with your dog, like retrieving, and it's pretty endless the amount of things that you can do through retrieving, if you really install that retrieve drive early on, which is super important. So one of the things I do a lot with my online tri uh, clients, sorry, is that that's the first pit, sorry, the first part, apart from obviously crate training, house training, etc., to install before they start trying to do too much. Because you sort of get a window of opportunity a little bit with that. And if you don't capitalize on it, it can be lost. Um, but yeah, installing that retrieve drive really allows you to have things to do to interact with your dog, rather than the dog finding things to interact with apart from you. So that's why it's so important, guys. So whether you bought this dog as just a domestic pet or not, doesn't exempt you from the issues that are prevalent within this breed. It's something I talk about all the time. And just because you put a collar on it, doesn't mean your dog's not gonna cause you problems. So again, coming back to those early training uh, points of trying to install that drive through the retrieve, if anything, that's teaching the dog to come back as well, which is obviously really important. But finding things to entertain your dog through, i.e. retrieve, is always gonna be the best way. So, as I said, if you've got a young pup, then I make that my priority at the beginning. Um, I'll put a link in the description for some of my videos on retrieving. Also, don't forget if you do want some help with online training, I look after a lot of people and it helps people, especially through the first two or three months where people can get so many things wrong. Um, and it's a period where you really wanna capitalize on getting things right and avoiding all those uh, silly little issues that most people will create to generally just trying to be too nice. Um, yeah, so if you want any help from that, just go through to my Facebook page, Hampshire Spaniel Training, drop me a message there and I'll do my best to help you. Anyway, keep training guys, take care.